Hello folks, welcome back to Gunning For It with me, Lots of FM. Today is the day, two games to go for all the sides left in the Brest, I say left in the Premier League, like they've been dropping like flies viewers. No, everyone now has played 36 out. Uh, we are four points behind Chelsea. Oh goodness me. Uh, we can't really, logically, I mean like, it could go badly, but we can't really finish lower than fourth. So Champions League should be guaranteed. Shouldn't be saying this, should wait until it is guaranteed. Uh, of course then we play Manchester United, whereas Chelsea host Liverpool. So there's still Still, in my mind, there's still a slim chance that we can do this. If we beat, uh, if we beat Manchester United, Chelsea lose or draw to Liverpool, we'll be on sixty. Uh, sorry, we'll be on seventy nine. They'll be on eighty, eighty one, and then they they lose to Wolves. We win our final game. Everyone's happy. As long as we beat Everton on the final day, who have had an average season. So let's get involved. Let's get excited, and let's introduce you to the team. For today's game, can we stop Zaruki? No, we can't. He's got 32 goals this season. So team-wise for this one then, uh, we've got Gentile in goal, Lashley, Delit, Chesney and Gibb will be at the back. Kushman in front with Fabrice and Hoosman either side. They're the more creative of the two. Uh, we've got an injury to Lahaida, so he can't feature. So Taylor will be in behind uh, Svoboda and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah! I should have just called him that. Yeah! Woo! Like the start of sort of 70s disco pop song. I don't know. But this is the 11. Can they do it? That's the question. First things first. We're going to overlap rather than underlap today. I've got a theory. The wider we play, the better we're going to be. And of course, we'll keep a close eye on what happens at Stamford Bridge. The chance of us winning the league today, viewers, not good. Okay? Not, not very good at all. But... You never say never, so maybe. Or certainly, we're winning this. This is happening. I'll take second now. Off with me second, I'll have it. All right, there's the United, United side. Loads of decent players in there, of course. We talk about him all the time. Zaruki, he's the man we've got to stop. And yeah, he's had a, he's had a decent decent season, Fiers. Decent season. I've not seen many players have a season this good that aren't on my team. So uh, yeah, shout out to him. All right, come on then, lads. Let's qualify for the Champions League. Let's get that bit done first. And let's hope that uh, that Randy Deckers over at Liverpool can do the business against Chelsea and give us a slim chance. We've got the league table there. We've got the latest scores. Keep an eye on the Stamford Bridge result as uh, we then battle away and hopefully beat United. The worst thing that can happen here, viewers, is if 25 seconds in, they score. They weren't far away. <laughs> All right, I'm calm. I'm very calm. I'm not calm. I've, I want us to not finish fifth. It wasn't even really fully aware to me that we could finish outside the top four. I'm now very aware that if we don't meet Manchester United, form might begin to sort of tail off a little bit. Meanwhile, but folks, I don't know if you know this, Brighton are absolutely destroying Newcastle. It's not what we're here for today. They're 4-0 up. They're creating havoc with my latest score screen as we're nearly at half time and we've, there's, there's, like, there's no goals at all. Everyone's kicking off at the same time as, oh, goals went in. Leicester and Wolves both scored, but that's not what we were looking for. All right, still nil-nil. It's been a pretty tame game. Away at Old Trafford, though, we'll kind of take this for now. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna calmly say we've better, we need the better side. Let's just keep doing what we can do. Pass it. I'm going to get assertive, actually. If I assertively say, um, oh, do I say there's no pressure on them today? I'll try that. They didn't love it. I'm going to say, tell the midfield as well. No pressure, boys. Come on. They look relaxed. Let's, let's, let's try and relax them. See if they can play the natural game and see if we can do the business. Goals going in elsewhere. Villa burning nil nil. Brighton 4 0 against Newcastle. Chelsea versus Liverpool, though. Still nil nil. And that's where we need there to be a goal in our favour. Alternatively, nil nil's fine as long as we don't replicate that result. We need to win, really. And at some point, I'm going to have to make a change. I've just realised I've, I've paid literally no attention to what's going on over here on my side of the screen. I've just cared about what happens to see if Liverpool score. United with 20 minutes to go. I've made a couple of changes. I think we kind of. Go for it, in a sense. Guendouzi's going to come on. Davies going to come on as well. I, uh, in, a, in a way, we're, we're going for this. In a way. But which I mean, we're going to go positive as well. 15 minutes to go. There's been nothing happen. And at Stamford Bridge, if that goes eight to nil nil, and we didn't get a goal, there's a chance. There's actually a highlight view. It's first of the entire game. You think with the firepower on either side, there'd be something. Zaruki's got it. I mean, I don't really mind him out there. He can't do us any da one nil Manchester. What the f has gone on there? That's annoying. Gentile beating his near post, and uh, United take the lead. Well, the title chances were slim, viewers. Uh, if anything, this gives a massive advantage to Manchester United. They have suddenly got an opportunity to, to oust Chelsea. Um, as things stand, I've just noticed actually Liverpool not winning as they go 2-0 up now. They've decided to start playing as we've gone a bit more positive. Brilliant. But actually, Chelsea-Liverpool drawing is good for us because it means we will definitely be in the Champions League next year. Which is not what we're here for. We're here to win the league. And after a season that was looking like it was going to be in our hands... 
Not only is it now completely out of our hands as we crumble against some of the better sides, Tottenham, a big example, Chelsea beat us. Let's face it, if you're losing those games, viewers, you don't really deserve to win the league. In, in, in actual fact, yeah. Do you know what? This has been completely fair. We've not beaten them. We've had a system. I think maybe playing some form of wide players next season might be an option for us. We might have to uh, remove ourselves. Oh, he gets his customary goal. Get rid of the diamonds. Um, yeah. Chelsea should know that if they score now, they actually win the league. Like, they should probably consider that. But it's been proven, and all these sides that are better than us, I mean Chelsea United, both have got just more fire, firepower than us. Even, it's so much to see. We saw it. See, you've got more firepower as well. Liverpool arguably have. And that's where we're going to have to hugely invest next season. 3-0 it ends. We've still got the FA Cup to play for against City on the final day. A little bit of revenge for a recent episode. But, um, yeah, done. Done for. I certainly say unlucky, boys, I guess. I mean, try and keep them motivated. Everton to come. I think we've qualified for the Champions League no matter what. But let's just confirm that now. Chelsea Liverpool, nil nil. I mean, a little bit annoying because if we'd have beat United, there'd have been a slim chance. But yeah, you can see Champions League has been confirmed. Our initial budgets have been set. Let's take a look at that. So 98 million is the number that's been rumoured. So, uh, okay, 98 million. That gives us some maneuver maneuverability, especially if we sell a couple of these strikers that I don't think are really making the grade. I gave much chance this year you know I, I saw them last season and they weren't scoring loads of goals they've got a few more this year the big one actually was Davi wasn't it who last year got three goals 11 this year it's not enough mate you need to be in the 20s and you're not there so I th some of these strikers maybe all the strikers will be sold that would be mad wouldn't it if I sold all four strikers and, and replaced them entirely my, my I, oh I'd like to do that now it's not good for team morale necessarily but if they're better players then why not Get in 200 million, bring in two 100 million pound strikers. It seems flawless the way I'm talking about it. I let me do it, viewers. I let me get Marky Fletcher back, back in action. No, no, not Marky Fletcher, but uh, Marky Fletcher back in action. He's in, he's on Australia, absolutely loving it. He's playing for Sydney FC. He's having a wonderful time. Nine in 25, seven last year. He's a goal machine over there. Yeah, I've just said that the boys getting that about that, those sort of goal ratios for me is not good enough, but. Don't worry about that. Everton, in a week's time, just to round off this year. Okay then, folks. Final game of the league season. Let's just let's finish with a win, shall we? We've already got the Champions League, so who cares at this point? But let's, let's just score some goals. A and W are going to be up front. We started the season with them. Let's see if they can do the business now. The rest of the side remains largely the same. Come on. Just beat Everton. It's not been a fun time. I, I don't even want to look at how it's gone. Like, it's not gone well. Like, I run in there. Spurs, draw with City... 3-0 to United. Oh. 3-0 to Chelsea. 1-1 against Villa. Uh, it was that spot there, wasn't it? Bournemouth Watford. Don't don't look back on it, Ben. It's fine. Just buy big just buy great strikers next season. That's all you need. Buy really good strikers. Alright, then we're in the red, they're in the blue. Traditional colours for either side. What happened there? Well well, I say what happens around the ground, so it doesn't really matter. But actually, United can still win the league. They're away at Leicester. And uh, Chelsea are away at Wolves. So there could be a little twist in the tail uh, in, in the title race, which would be interesting. Meanwhile, here, we've uh, we've cleared it. We've cleared the ball away. So we're looking good. Davey now on that left-hand side, racing forward. Can he put it into the centre? He can. Oh, look at us. We're so good. The two have combined. They've heard me talk about this this need for a new striker. They've gone, hang on, we better start scoring goals here. He might be replaced. This 300 grand a week contract's quite nice, actually. Yeah, 300 grand a week. Joke. Absolutely joke. I mean, the fact, he's, the fact I've got a player on that at all is probably the first time in my history. United and Chelsea game, still both nil-nil. Dull. Nothing happening so far. So the league table is remaining... The the same whereas we'll put ourselves on 79 points which ordinarily never enough to win a league title anyway so whatever you know it, it, the phrase it is what it is comes to mind as Lashley puts the ball in Davies there flicks it on and it's 2-0 just after half an hour we're looking good <laughs> when it doesn't matter pressure off this is very Arsenal I've do, I realise now I'm fitting into the philosophy of this football club perfectly like a like a hand in a in a new well-sized glove I've gone to I've gone into too much detail Everton forward looking for a you know they're getting involved which is good of them you know why, why not get involved as we're just is it a foul is it was it on the edge was it inside it's a penalty oh okay no need to go and look at the screen as Novak with a chance for Everton back into the game really Gentile will save this though told you there it is what a save amazing save it was well struck the penalty but um yeah Gentile he's best keeper in the, the league for a reason he will not be sold and the bat line's pretty safe as well to be honest there's certain areas where we're still quite good I'm very happy with the way things are going keep it up now interestingly I just wondered on goal difference wise Chelsea Manchester United their goal difference is very very similar if Chelsea draw and United win 1-0, they will have the same goal difference and the same amount of points. I guess then it goes down to goal scored. What's the situation there? Their game, their, their situation is infinitely, uh, like instantly more exciting than mine. We can't even see. So I guess there'll be a decision made there at some point as Lashley lashes it into the far corner. Beautiful. United though, 1-0 down. 
So maybe actually that is affecting the goal difference, if that's the case. No, 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 it's still the case. If United win by a goal and Chelsea draw, well, I never. Meanwhile, we're 3 up. We're cruising. We're loving it, viewers. We're loving it being over here, doing nothing. Leicester have been in some really good form at the back end of the season. I expect them to be a little higher than eighth, to be honest. They've been winning games left, right and centre. 63 minutes gone and Zaruki and Leicester have done it. They were, sorry, 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 not Leicester. Manchester United. 2-1. It's happened. So now... I know, because they're winning and they're on 80 points. None of this makes any sense. Unless it's just not updated yet. It may well not have updated yet. I feel like they're both going to be on 82 here with the same amount of points and the same goal difference. Meanwhile, Everton are trying to, trying to score, which, you know, is admirable. They've given it away again. Poor from them, really. Ball played forward. Our goal difference is deciding to improve now. Game 38. Why not? Ball played in. Davies there. 4-0. Cruising. Imagine if we needed to win this. Oh, look, there it is. United go top of the table. Goal difference identical. So, unbelievably, Chelsea now have to score. Oh, it's goal drama here. Imagine if we were involved. Wouldn't that have been good? Everton, bless him. They're, try they're trying really hard as well, and they're just not getting anywhere. And our diamond formation with these two up front is apparently the best formation since sliced bread was invented, although that technically not a formation. Lashley, far side, or near side, I should say. Taylor pokes it in. 5-0, viewers. We're on the beach! But we're loving it. We're so good at beach football. Oh, this is all too late. This is such a waste of time. I don't want any of this. If you get a sixth, I'll play the Marky Fletcher jingle just so we, we feel a part of this final day. Chelsea Wolves still nil-nil. I don't know what the goal difference situation is. I guess we'll find out at the end of the season. Taylor, Huisman, we're going to score again here, viewers. This is going to be 8-0, isn't it? Which is going to really annoy me. Lashley, far side, or near side. I'm getting my sides all mixed up. Mixed up. Taylor misses anyway. <laughs> what is the near side? What is the far side? Where am I sat? That's the question. Or sitting. But what, either or is probably correct. One of them's right. One of them's wrong. I could have made a change here. I've not done it. And United now 3-1 up. So their, their goal difference now superior. So Chelsea now know that they've got to just score a goal or hope let Leicester do something to uh to go back on top wow the league is going to be one on goal difference on the final day Zaruki the man to do it i mean if there's ever a man who's going to score some goals it was going to be him but goodness gracious me city as well they're six nil up uh newcastle's a three three getting goals flying in all the games at this point lovely stuff you like to see it really as uh what's parrot done three times i mean that's that's just incorrect is it that, that must be wrong in some description i don't know what's happened with parrot there he's, he's scored some goals apparently Wow, Chelsea nicked off their heels. And I've, I realise now that if we'd have won against United, they've, they've, Everton have got their goal. If we'd have won against United, our goal difference would have been inferior. So in theory, had they drawn with Wolves, that would have been enough. Although had we beat them earlier this season, we'd probably be winning it now. But there it is, full time, Arsenal 5, Everton 1. It's a good way to end the season. I mean, that's positive, but just too little. As, as was said, I think it was by someone to had a song called Too Little Too Late. And I, I can't remember who. It, was, it might have been Jojo or someone like Avril Lavigne. I can't remember. Regardless, it's been a little too late. A little too too late. Not our best work. Although the money we're about to get is a bit daft. I like the look of that. We won't do the press conference. No time for it. Uh, 42 million into the club coffers. Wonderful stuff. FFP. Um, we're passing that now because of the money we've gained at the end of the season. Our balance, not particularly good. That should be righted, though, uh, when we get the sponsor deals uh, in through the window, through the door. And it should be a lot as well. Looking at the state of that, goodness me, we should be happy as Larry. Uh, so everything should be fine. We've got loads to spend. That should be exciting. The squad gets 7 million for coming third. That's not very good but third an improvement on where we were last year with Villa who have finished ninth they've regressed a little bit there and uh, down in league one we might as well see what they're up to because I'm always intrigued uh, what have Boston United done please don't have got relegated for heaven's sake they have got relegated with Salford oh no it's a double it's a double whammy it's a double whammy viewers all my hard work maybe I'll have to go back there Rob France not doing the business Simon Francis former uh, Bournemouth player is still there right then that's going to bring us to the end if you enjoyed today's episode do drop a like on it of course we're not done just yet and FA Cup final next episode a little bit of a special piece of business for us to deal with so, so that should be good fun but next season a transfer window and um i've spent this week in new york so there's lots to do when i get back i assume oh goodness me we love with care from dr benji that's me goodbye <laughs> what's just happened there that's new for me i don't think i've ever done that from dr benji like what what oh god